Hello everybody, so we finished up doing our endo the other day. So we're going to go ahead and here I've got my compressor project folder and inside it I have everything the way that I've been laying out. Now this kind of comes back to if we go through the time to create our project folder structure and if we pay attention to where we're saving things, then when we need them later on, they're really, really easy to find. And what I want to do right now is I actually want to fix up my endo work a little bit to adjust my color map. So I'm going to go into the endo folder because that's where my endo work is. And this right here is the PSD file that was created by endo. So I'll go ahead and load that up really quick. And let's see, I'll go ahead and cancel that. So here you can see the normals that were created by endo. Um, also, you can see that it, it includes the, uh, blah, 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 what is it? Up here, the UV layout. I can just turn that off, right? Not a problem there. So here's my normal map that was created. And what I wanted to do with this are there some parts of this that I want to be able to use to adjust my color map. Like my wheel hubs, they're going to be metal. Uh, let's see, what are these things? Oh, I don't know what those are going to be yet. Frame mount bolts. Oh, yeah, they're going to be metal also. Nah. Oh, yeah, I'll probably make them some type of metal. Uh, wheel mount bolts, those will definitely be metal wheel nuts those will be those are inside here um let's see wheel bump base what are you weld bump no you're gonna stay the color map of the uh material thing there thumb screws oh yeah you're gonna stay that color map uh weld bump copy you're fine what are you you're that thing. You're that gauge. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that gauge already has a glass material on it, so I'm going to probably be okay there. There's my label. I'm going to need that later on. Panel rivets on those things. Uh, yeah, we'll see. No, panel rivets. And, well, where's my panel? Oh, there it is. That thing. Yeah, okay. Right, right. Okay, pretty good. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do now is turn on my normal map here, and here you can actually see everything, right? And so all these new white things that we have, these would be new pieces and parts. And my gauge is right in here, isn't it? And it looks like it's the same material as that. Let me go. Well, let's let's focus on what I've got here. So these pieces that I've currently got selected, I want them to be... Uh, let's see, I'll come up here, this wheelbase. I'm going to go ahead and do a control J, duplicate that. And a color I'm not using, well, I'm going to go with a gray. I'm not using gray. So I'm going to control click my thumbnail here. So you can see I've got that selected. Do a shift F5 to fill that. And I'm going to go ahead and fill that with 50% um, gray. That'll be my 128 gray, like so. Good. And then I'm going to hide that one because that's what I just did. Let's do a control D to deselect, and let's select this one. So I'll control click on the thumbnail. And what did I just get selected? Frame mount bolts. Okay, those guys up there. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit them with a shift F5, 50% gray as well. There we go. Do a control D. All right. And that's the frame mount bolts. What's next? Wheel bolts. And I'm going to change this wheel hubs copy to layer. I'm going to change this to be um, bolts and metal ID. There we go. So wheel bolts copy. Let's control click that thumbnail. And it's those pieces up there. Do another shift F5. I'll fill that one. All right, control D to deselect. Turn that one off. Uh, let's see, wheel nuts copy. Let's do a control. Click on that. Okay, those are those inserts right there. Well, they're already the gray that I want, so I'm good there. Control D. Turn that one off. Uh, label. See, I think the label might be a different metal from those guys. So, and the panel rivets. Where's the rest of my wheel hub? It's just you guys. Oh, yeah, and the rest of this white here is the black that goes to that. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. 
Okay. Uh, so where is my dial? What are you? I'm going to click you. Control click. Okay, you're my dial. You, I want you to be glass. I'm going to do a control J. I'm going to make a new layer. Uh, okay, so that's the name. That's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make a new layer. Let me delete that. Delete that one. I mean, I didn't want to duplicate the layer is what I'm trying to say. I do want a new layer. I'm just going to do a new layer right here. What are you? Looks like I copied that for some reason. That's odd. I'm going to delete that one. I think I hit Control J a couple times. I double tapped it. So this right here is going to be my glass ID. And it's selected right there. So I'm going to need to fill this with a color that I'm not using out here anywhere. I mean, I could put black in there. That's not actually technically being used. But, oh, let's see. What about... How about that color? There we go. Shift F5. Not 50% gray. This is going to be my foreground color. Okay. Control D to deselect that. And then I want to do this part out up here, which is going to be a different type of metal than was down there. So let's do another new layer. This one I'm going to call my, I'm just going to call it metal plate ID. All right, let's go down to my label, which is this thing. Control, click it. So I've got it selected. And now I want to fill that with a new color. Uh, let's see what, once again, what color am I not really using out here? So I've got a magenta. I've got a green. I've got one of those. i got some of that. I've got a red. I might have to resort to a black. Let's see here. This brown, this might be different enough. Let's do that. Shift F5, foreground color. Boom. All right, there we go. Control D to deselect. So now I've got my color map is fixed once again. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to turn off the normal layer down here for the moment. And turn off that one and that one for the moment. Just leave all of those on. I'm going to go ahead and do another file, save as. And let's see, I'll go back to the compressor. And I'm going to call this uh, crate container underscore normal uh, endo. No, not normal. Um, crate container color ID endo fixed. As a PSD. There we go. I'll save that. All right. And don't show again. And then I'm going to go ahead and save a flattened version as well. File save as. This one's going to be a Targa. There it is. And I'm going to save that. All right. So I've got all of that saved. Uh, 24 bits is fine. I don't need the alpha channel. Save that out. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn off all of these layers. So that that one is the only one that is on. Like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this as my normal. So I'll do a file. Save as. Go back into Endo and I'm just going to save it right on top of that. And it's got my UV layout turned off this time. Alright, let's do a save. You want to replace it? Yes. There we go. And while I'm here, I'm going to clean up just a couple of things. Just make this easier to deal with. So I'm going to add a group. And I'm going to call this group uh, color ID. And I'm going to put some stuff in here like that. And let's grab this, this, and that. And I'm going to drag them down here, put them in here, like so. And then I'm going to make one more group. Let's do another group. Uh, original, normal, 
locations. Yeah, I don't know what else to call it, really. And I'm going to take these pieces and put them in here. Actually, not the uh, decal. I'm going to put it. No, yeah, I'm going to leave it there because that's actually where it belongs. There we go. There we go. All right, and that just makes this a little bit easier to deal with here. So turn all of these on inside of here. So that way I can turn the group off right there. There we go. And do the same thing up here. Turn all of these on as well. And then I can just turn the group off. Actually, you know what? Let's let's leave this the way that was. There we go. All right, let's do another control S. Our normal map is saved. And I'm going to leave the normal map open because I'm going to be copying some stuff out of there in a minute. All right, so now we are ready to go into Ndo or Ddo. So let's load up Ddo. And oh, it picked up information from there. So let's go over here to these three lines here. I'm going to do a new project. All right, so my new project, number one, is going to be a material ID. I have one of those. I'm going to go to my desktop, compressor, and it is going to be this crate container color ID and do fixed. Let's do that guy. I have a mesh. So I'm going to click my mesh. Air compressor with crate OBJ file. Looks good. I even have a normal, so I'm going to click this normal. I'm going to go into Endo, and I'm going to grab this crate container normal right there. Do an open on that. There it is. And we should now be ready to go. Uh, we're 2048, Unity 5 Metalness. Where do I want to save this? In my DDo folder right there. Okay. And go create. And it'll go through and create some stuff for me. And then I'm quickly just going to put a couple things together. And then from there, you guys will be able to handle it just fine. So um, basically what I'll do is I'll set up. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of the decals just as a kind of refresher on how those things get added in there. So I'm going to pause this while all my maps are being made. Okay, we are back. So we're going to hit an OK on that. We're going to bring up 3do and just take a look at what we've got so far. And here is 3do. Maybe. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do mesh-centric. I still don't finish fix the smoothing groups, but I don't care right now. Uh, let's see. Well, you can see we've got our normal information on there. Pretty nice. There's my plate. Cool looking. All right, let's go ahead and okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Control Shift C, and I'm going to start off with this right here. So I'm going to select that, and I'm thinking I want some type of just just base metal, nothing fancy, bare metal, um, maybe aluminum, because it's just one of those plates. It's just tacked on there. So yeah, I'm going to go with an aluminum plate. Hit Create and let that get thrown out here really quick and then I'm going to go ahead and copy my decal over onto it and the whole point of keeping all those layers that I was doing back in Endo that just seems so annoying and you know why bother keeping all these layers well there's going to be a really interesting thing here so I'm going to go to my normal map let's see is it still open up here Okay, so that's my converted one. Uh, crate container IDs. Yeah, that's that one. There's my mask. Okay, so that one is not open. So what I want to do is go ahead and open it really quick. So let's go with a uh, file. I'm going to go with open. And that's what I want to open right there. So let's open that one. Okay, close that. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my original normal locations. And I'm going to select this label decal copy right here, this, that thing. I'm going to do a control A, selects the whole layer, control C to copy it. And then I'm going to come back to where I was just working. So I'll just come over here. I was in my albedo 
uh, yeah, here we are. I'm in the albedo right here, and then we're going to do a control J. We just pasted that out there. Give it just a second to update. Oh, control J is not what I wanted to do. I'm going to delete that. Control J duplicated the layer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I did a control J. Let me delete that layer. Uh, because what I really want to do is a control V. Just got to wait for it here a second. I created my layer over there. My sticker is not there though. And it still hasn't deleted this one. Yeah, still want to delete that layer. There we go. Did not bring my sticker over for some reason. So let me go find that again. Where is it? It's right here. Let's right click on this and let's go ahead and rasterize that. Nope, it's not the thumbnail. Blink. Rasterize it. On the off chance that was my problem. Control, we'll come out here. Control A, Control C. Come back, find the albedo I'm working on. I'm on the albedo, correct. Now I'm going to do a Control. V. And it looks like it's still refusing to bring my image over, so this is always fun. Let's do it this way. Well, usually it just comes right over. Okay, so what I'll just go ahead and do then, since those layers aren't actually doing what I want, at least I don't think they are. Let me double check. Come on back, three, two. Okay, three, two is not responding either. I just close three, two. So worst case scenario, I'll just pull the decal over there and position it where I want. That won't be too difficult to do. Yeah, it's not putting it out there for some reason. So we'll do it another way. We'll go ahead, go to our compressor here, go to my decals. And the one I'm after is... I don't guess it matters. I'm going to use this one. Which one did I use? Yeah, it looks like that one. I'm just going to pull this guy over into here and drop it in there. Interesting. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so like as soon as I paused it, I realized I'm just being stupid. Um, well, before I came back, I went ahead and deleted some of the extra layers I had there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and drag this out here. And I'm going to do a checkbox on it. Oops, I wanted to actually move it before I did the checkbox. That was dumb. I'm going to delete that new one. Yes. Do this again. So I'm going to do a checkbox. There we go. And I'm going to get it up here where I want. So I kind of can't see it because, well, this is the only part that's visible here. So remember this is, this has a color map on it. So the only areas that are visible are the parts of the color map that or the parts of the uh, texture that use that color ID. Zoom in a little bit more here. Oh, 
That'll probably do for what I want. There we go. I hit my check. Okay, we're gonna have three do. There we go. And we have our label, and notice that it looks like it's on a metal plate. So even though there's that sticker that's over it, as I rotate, it looks metallic. And, uh, you know, in hindsight, needed this to go a whole lot straighter than it did, but that's okay. That'll do. So let's see. Let's go ahead and really quick just do a couple other things to this. Although not too quick, or not too too many, because I think that's pretty much all you really need at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and do another decal here. So Control C, I'm going to go after this red base right there, and let's do a painted metal. I think um, I'm thinking. I mean, a scratched metal would be okay. I don't want it to be rusty. Now let's go all the way down here to the bottom. Scratched, thick painted. I don't want it to be thick painted. I'm going to do like thick painted on the cart itself, I think. Thick painted. Scratched painted steel. Let's do... Let's do this color. And we'll create that. Of course, I could change the color anytime I want. No, I don't want it to be in this group. I want it to be in its own group. So I'll let this come in, and then I'll just throw a husky sticker on it, and maybe that warning, that other sticker that goes on it somewhere. Just throw those out here really quick. All right, there we go. So my map is painted out here, and you can see how this normal map right up here, that weld, you can see how it's getting all this wonderful normal map detail. Uh, you know, partly from the weld normal that's put up there, but also Endu looks at normal maps, at raises and normal maps to determine where things should change. Uh, now this scratching looks a little heavy to me. So let's see here. Okay, that light surface, that light surface isn't hardly doing anything. Um, let's scale this down. What do we get there? Didn't change much of anything. My steel base, yeah, that opacity looks pretty good. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it like this. Yeah, let's let's try leaving it like this for now. Bring this over here. So I'm going to put a husky sticker on it. Let's close that really quick. Oops. Control minus zooms out. I keep trying to control it like it's a different type of application. So let me go grab my Husky sticker really quick, which is right here. Just throw it out here somewhere. Drag it down into the area where it will suddenly become visible. It is on this layer right here, this Husky logo. And Let's go ahead and hit a checkbox on that. And let's see where that is. And then I can work on moving it around and stuff like that. No, actually, it's not too far off from where I wanted it. So let me put you over. Put you right down here. Come back over here. I've got that one selected. Let's go to our movement. Let's see, I'm just going to use my arrow keys. Uh, let's see, how's that look? Bumped it over a little bit. Let's do a refresh on that really quick. Not bad. Bump it over a little bit more, I'm thinking. Control-click that thumbnail again. Maybe get some of these nice scratches going through it. There we go. Let's refresh that. 
Although those scratches are actually on the layer below it. That's fine. There we go. So I got my Husky label out there. Good enough. And then I could add some more labels to it. Uh, for instance, I can really, really quick, last one I want to do here. Let's do a Control Shift C. I'm going to select this right here. And I want that to be a glass. So I'm just going to type glass up here. See if they've got one. They've got a couple. I'm going to use this uh, dirty glass right here because it's got some smudging going on on it. Let's create that. Nope, put it in a different layer. And then I want to go ahead and load in my uh, dial and get it positioned correctly. Let's see. Which dial did I use? I don't guess it really matters which dial I go with. I can put either one out there. <clears throat> okay. There we go. And you can see how it looks a little glassy, some smudges and whatnot. So let's go ahead and move that out of my way some. It's located right here. Control plus plus, right there it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my dial. Let's see, I'm going to use this dial. Let's drop it out here. There we go. Position it right there in the middle, roughly. Let's drop you down. Bring you up. Zoom in a little bit more here. And you can see because it's a bitmapped image, it's just looking terrible. That's fine. I'm going to put it right there. Okay. And it straightened itself up a little bit. Let's do a refresh on that. There's my cool looking dial. Come on. There we go. Now it does not look like it has any dirt or anything. So I'm going to bump it down below at least the dirt one. See the dirt showing up on it. Let's bump it down below. the. Come on. Bump it down below the edges. There's some edge detail. Let's go ahead and put it below the glass even. Let's see what happens there. There we go. And now it kind of looks like it's back behind some glass, which is what I was after. And I can just keep going from here, adding more details to this. You know, the, uh, the pipes up here probably go with a gold or some, you know, some color like that. Get some scratches. And just keep working away until I've got this whole thing taken care of. And this blue, I'm probably going to change that and go with a different one, but uh, you get the point. So there, there's the uh, basic process going, getting everything set up in DDo and getting some basic things going. So a uh, big, big uh, takeaway from this, uh, what I wasted like 10 minutes on, is that your decals, as you bring them in, will only be visible within the color ID mask that you have there. So you know, move them to where you need them to be, and then you can resize them as you want. Okay, so any other questions? Just